My name is Ruth Castellano and I'm Vice President for BJC Home Care Services. I've managed hospice um, originally since 1985. A Christian hospital started up a brand new program. I had never missed a day's work since I had my baby that is now 25. I felt that, you know, for so long, I knew hospice, I knew um, the benefits of it. But once you become a patient, it becomes more real to you. My mom has worked for hospice and started it for BJC. And, um, you know, I knew it had to do with, you know, dying and coming in and helping. But I honestly didn't know the extent and how much they do for the family, not only the patient. And I was actually very surprised to learn all the details, you know, with the Lumina, helping with the letters, helping with, you know, her urn box, the counseling for us, the physical therapy and massage, healing touch, I believe is what's called, all of that. I honestly had no clue and was very surprised about it. Definitely I didn't realize the extensiveness of BJC Hospice, how they offer so many services. They kind of cover everything it seems like. Lumina is um, mostly a, a volunteer driven program in which we have the privilege of entering into um, terminally ill people's lives uh, and sometimes the families are involved too to do two things one is to do the review of lives to have a chance with the patient to reflect on their lives to come to some sort of uh, peaceful conclusion about their lives, to remember falling in love and the great successes of their lives, and sometimes the sadness too, um, and to make peace with themselves. And then the second part of Illumina is legacy creation. We want to help them extend their lives into their families and communities beyond their deaths. So they might write letters to people who are precious to them, we might uh, record their stories and make books with them. Sometimes we even do photography. Um, whatever it is that is a gift to generations to come, some of whom won't even ever have known them. Most of my life I have shared with Susie in, in a, a way that I have not shared with anybody else. Um, just because you talk about your past, you talk about the current and you talk about the future, but what a beautiful gift to leave behind for my family. Um, one thing that we work on are letters to leave for them. So for the Christmas after I'm gone first, I've left a letter for my whole family. But my husband for our anniversary or his next birthday, my girls' birthdays, or when they find the individuals that they want to spend the rest of their lives with, they'll have something concrete that they can work with and um, feel me and, and know how I feel and, and the love that I want to leave and wrap around them all the days. Illumina uh, is the only program of its kind, uh, certainly in the breadth of the program that BJC Hospice offers all of its patients in the range of services that we offer through Illumina. Uh, in the intense time we give to the life review process so that people feel at peace with themselves. The patients pay nothing for Lumina from BJC Hospice. It's, a, it's completely a gift. Um, our slogan for our BJC Hospice is each day is a gift and Lumina is also a gift. Uh, people don't have to pay for the time that the volunteers spend. They don't have to pay for the book or the letters themselves um, or any objects that we might prepare for them. It's a gift. So one of the wonderful um, things that Suzanne uh, from Lumina has also done for us is the family history. And so documented here is a genogram of all the way up from my mother's side of the family, Fry's, and then my father's side of the family, Weston's, and then even all the way down to my first marriage where I was a Sedano, 
And then my second marriage um, to my wonderful husband, John, with the Castellanos. This is a legacy that you can leave behind that, you know, I'm not so sure that my children knew a lot about even their grandparents because their grandparents were dead when they were born. Also is the lifeline of, of my life and from when I was born until the current. So it kind of gives my children and hopefully my grandchildren one day um, and my current grandchildren from my bonus children of just my whole history of my life. And there's not many people that take the time to have that documented to leave behind. So hospice, BJC hospice and the Lumina program has allowed me to, to leave that behind for me. If you allow yourself the time, it's not a surrender to death. It's not a giving up. Um, it's not an abandonment of yourself or your family. It's a chance to make peace with yourself, to be in comfort and care and to be well loved um, and to receive the, the kind of attentions and uh, concern that every human being deserves at the ends of their lives. Uh, both of my parents had BJC hospice um, so I, I, and it was such a short time that I really didn't have a chance to to see what it was all about. With the girls has been great. Um, to, to see them open up more. Um, Suzanne has just been phenomenal with uh, the things that she's done. I, I think it's been such a, a great and unique thing that we've been able to have this time and, and get things prepared. They've given her wonderful care. It's been loving care, not just care for someone that it's a job to do. It's been caring care, <laughs> over and above care. We're all glad that she's had this guidance and this time it hasn't been all sadness. It's helped her to be still the person she's always been. I think the biggest benefit to the grief support that we've received is to just get everything out on the table, um, just so we're all on the same page, which has been really beneficial. I would 100% recommend BJC Hospice to friend, family, anyone, because I really just don't think enough people know what it entails. People that go into hospice for a day or two or a week or two weeks don't have the opportunity to fully benefit from hospice and the, the unique, wonderful programs that BJC has to offer that other people don't. It's touched every family member and I think we all feel a little better and okay about the dying process. Um, you know, I've always been okay with it because I believe in afterlife, I believe in angels, I believe that I will see my father and my sister and, um, you know, people that I love. So I have no fear of that. But yet I feel like for my family that I've left things in place because hospice has prepared me and helped me to prepare to leave those gifts behind for them of the letters and the book and so forth. So it's, it's just, I think, a gift that is um, unbelievable to leave. Mm -hmm.